Intrusive thoughts can take over our entire day, week and lives. You set an intention to make more money, for example, and then a huge tax bill comes in. Or maybe you're manifesting a dream home and then you lose your job. You see, you start to think to yourself, manifestation doesn't work for me. There's something wrong with me. And off you spiral. Do you notice how you don't even need to add any negative thoughts to your negative self-talk? Your brain just very kindly overtakes and does it all for you. You're never going to be good enough. You see you're an idiot. You see you're never going to have that money. You see your SP isn't coming back and starts to do all the work for you. If this is you, we're going to change that today. Come with me, I want to show you something. This is your old self-concept. You see this muddy, filthy water, these oil negative thoughts. This is, I don't believe in myself. I don't think I'm worthy. I'll never have the money. I'll never have the man. This is your old self-concept. And when we are doing all these techniques or changing our life, changing our thoughts, changing our thought patterns, all we're doing is adding fresh, clean water. And what ends up happening is you can't actually see a difference, right? You're not seeing any difference right now. It's still muddy. And then what do you do? You stop doing the work. You stop adding the positive affirmations. You stop looping affirmations. You stop doing what you're supposed to be doing because you don't see a difference in your old self-concept. But what you don't realize is if you keep going and you keep adding all of the positivity, all of the good vibes, the high vibrations, the positive self-talk, gradually you start to see it clearing out, right? That was pitch black a second ago. You start to see it clearing out. All of these pieces of mud are just leaving the bottle until eventually you are left with a self-concept so fresh, so full of love, so full of joy, that the old philosophy cannot survive. This is the power of not wavering. This is the power of not giving in to your negative thoughts, we just laugh at them. So when you're manifesting something and you don't see the movement in the 3D and you then decide to close the lid, or whatever I'm doing isn't working, it's clearly never gonna happen, you're literally strengthening the mud. So everything in that jar is just gonna expand because it has no choice but to expand. That's why when you are derailing and you feel that negative spiral, you don't even need to add to anything. Your brain is just on a rampage. See, I'll never be good enough. See, I'll never have this. See, I'll and this is the exact same for the opposite. When you start to use all of these tools to start adding in that fresh water, adding in that positivity, adding in, yes, I can do it. Yes, I am enough. Yes, I've always been enough. Yes, I will always be enough. You start adding that in, slowly your brain just takes over and you start going on a positive rampage as well. So let's say that that doesn't help for whatever reason. We've all been there. I mean, <laughs> I've had a few of those days just you know, maybe a few years or whatever. But we've all been in that state, state where you cannot get through to them. Like you cannot get through, you could not get through to me, right? I cannot get through to you. We've all been in that state. So the best uh, technique that I've found to help me get out of that state when nobody can get through to you, when you are fully down in the gutter, is finding a great rampage. Something that's really gonna evoke emotion from you. And you go on this rampage, it's like a cue, almost. When you feel yourself spiraling, for me, I would binge eat, right? And I would love to just order all the food, the completed delivery in every city, like, just ridiculous, right? So when I feel myself spiraling, now that I have that discipline, I just go on a rampage immediately and go and take some time, whether you no matter who you're with, no matter what you're doing, go to the bathroom and read it on your notes app. And a good rampage, I'll give you an example. I include a free one in my affirmation package so you can check the link in bio, but you can also make one yourself. Nobody knows you like you know yourself. So my rampage begins with, my self-concept is amazing. I am literally a dream girl that has it all. Everything in my life is perfect now. I'm magnetic, irresistible, unforgettable, alluring. And I just go on and on and on, and it's just getting you out of that state where I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, da 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 da. Just can't survive in an environment that is so obnoxious, I guess. <laughs> so confident, so out there. It just, it, it cannot, you just witnessed how 
every time you're pouring into yourself, every time you're doing these techniques or using these tools and you don't see movement, there is always movement. No matter how dark that jar may have looked, did it end up clear at the end? Absolutely. So that's what you need to start doing, understanding that there is always movement and to help you recognize that you go on an amazing rampage that you create for yourself or I can create one for you, whatever. And another technique that I would find really helps is a he's at the door technique. It's like a cue, let's say you're manifesting your SP, for example, and you've been doing your affirmations, you're feeling amazing, and then all of a sudden you see a third party on social media. You're like, it's never gonna work, we're never gonna get back together, it's done. Da -da 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 -da. Spiraling, 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 and then you catch yourself, he's at the door. Oh my God, he's at the door. And you go onto a rampage, of course he chooses me. I'm the only possible option. Every time he looks at her, all he thinks about is me. And that he's at the door is a cue, is a prompt to get you back into your new beliefs. Why? Because there is always movement, even if you cannot see it. Even if they are saying to you, I don't care about you, you are blocked everywhere. I don't care. There is always a movement and you just witnessed it right there. So that's what we're doing. And these, he's at the door. He's at the door. Of course he's at the door. He's at my front door right now. The money just literally hit my bank right now. And that is the cue to go back to the to the new beliefs. So the old beliefs cannot survive any longer. Just start pouring in, just keep pouring in, allow the old to be removed and the new to settle in and create those strong foundations. Another incredible technique is a mirror work and I would advise everyone to do this for, I know I've recently said do it for an hour a day in the mirror, it's just, it's not, it's, it's probably not gonna work for everyone. For me, I was so desperate that I needed to do it for an hour a day in the mirror. Um, I am worthy, I love myself and it definitely helped. But for you, if you don't have that time, five minutes, I know that you can find five minutes. You've just spent the past five minutes watching this video, which has been helpful. I intend for it to help you, but you have the five minutes, five minutes in the mirror. I am enough. I love myself, I am worthy. And I don't care if you're streaming tears because the circumstances are so heavy and your negative thoughts are so loud and you just cannot stop the spiraling, I don't care. You go to the mirror, you find a prompt, click your fingers, go to the mirror, tears streaming down your face. I am enough, I love myself, I am enough, I love myself. <laughs> don't let anyone see you because you might, you know, make it a bit crazy, but that's fine, it's whatever. And you persist no matter the circumstances. And I promise you over the next 21 days, you keep doing this, it will shift you entirely because you know when you feel that dwindle, you program your mind to be like, go straight to the mirror, I am enough, I love myself. I am enough, I love myself. You wanna pick up the cookies? No, you don't because you're enough and you love yourself. You wanna, you know, I don't know, look at their social media? No, you don't. You're enough and you love yourself. And you feel that prompt to get back to you and put yourself back on the pedestal. That's all we're doing. Just use these negative feelings, use these negative spirals as a cue. It's like, oh, it's a reminder. It's like an inbuilt alarm to remind yourself to go and do the tool, go and use the tools that we've given you. Go and do the work, go and do the inner work. It's like a, an alarm going off, that's all it is. You'll, you feel the tears, you feel the crying, you feel the uh, self-sabotage creeping up okay, that means I gotta go do my mirror work. You feel the intrusive thoughts, like I'm not good enough, how am I gonna do this? Okay, that means he's at the door, <laughs> right? Or the money just hit my bank, right? You just use that, these feelings and the, this negativity as prompts, that's all it is, it's a reminder, it's like receiving a phone call. Use it as a prompt and then you can start laughing at it, it's almost hilarious, like, oh, you actually think that I believe you. Or you actually think that I'm gonna believe that I'm not good enough? Like, are you crazy? Have you seen me? Are you, you know, it's like almost laughable. You start to laugh at it, you start to minimize it, and then you realize everything, everything's been a lie. <laughs> and then you really don't know whether to laugh or cry, because it's like, wow, I really believed that for so long. It's ironic that belie believe has lie in the middle of it. And that's what we do. We believe lies for years and years and create our entire reality around these lies. All we're doing is flipping the switch. These are techniques that I've used. Another thing that you can do is, if you really feel the heaviness, Wim Hof. 
okay, he is incredible. When you feel that tension, you feel that anxiety, you feel the spiraling, just check out Wim Hof on YouTube and do his breathing exercises to regulate your emotions and to just calm you down. That's all you're doing. You're just calming yourself down and then you can go back in with the new beliefs. Of course I'm enough, of course I'm worthy. And of course, when you're sleeping to affirmations every night, 21 days, 30 days, two months, three months, whatever, you will start to notice that you no longer spiral throughout the day. So they really help stabilize you. It may take a week, it may take two weeks, however long. It really depends how much resistance you have to these new beliefs, but really what we're doing is helping to stabilize you throughout the day. So you're sleeping throughout the night to your affirmations, and then you're waking up throughout the day and you're not spiraling as much. Let's say you'll think, you'll go to the mirror and be like, God, I'm beautiful, I look beautiful today. And that old voice doesn't creep up. That old voice no longer says, no, you don't. Or, God, I love my body. And that old voice is not there anymore. No, it's, it's not even that nice. Look at the size of you. It's no longer there. All you hear is, yeah, your body's incredible. You're looking better every day. And what happens? Your brain starts to take over and do the work for you. This is all we're doing, stabilizing ourselves. We are a Affirming that we are good enough and then we are attracting what we believe we are. The key here is that the more that you're adding, the less likely the old can survive. It's like building a house and you start building your house from scratch, brick by brick, and then all of a sudden you're like, this house is never going to be complete. I'm, I'm completely done with it. And you just abandon the house. You're, every time that you're wavering or that you're giving in to your old limiting beliefs or that you're spiraling or you are literally abandoning your new beliefs. You're abandoning your new life. That's all you have to look at it like. So we just keep adding, no matter what we see, we keep building brick by brick. And naturally the circumstances come together and we don't even notice. We're like, oh, it's that easy. It's really that easy. So this is how, these are the tools that I use to help kind of stop the negativity and stop the spiraling. Obviously it takes discipline, it takes a second. Um, especially if you were a prolific self-sabotager like myself, then it just takes a minute, but all you have to do is persist. And I promise there is always light at the end of the tunnel. Obviously, it's a tunnel. So I hope this helps. If you would like any personalized affirmations, meditations, you can check out the link below. And if you just need a chat, then just drop me an email and we can get through anything you're going through. So thank you for watching. I intend that this video helped you. You are worthy, you are loved. I love you. Thank you.